Hey everyone and welcome to Fiddler's Friday. Alice Hazen here and today I have a very cool setup courtesy of my friend Kathy and um, her partner Zach. They've invited me into their home today because my home's getting loud construction and uh, yeah so it's pretty crazy in there. So thank you Kathy and Zach for having me today and um, who knows maybe we'll even see a kitty uh, on this here live stream. You never know. I've learned that that is good clickbait. I might go try to scoop one up later for you guys. So just wanted to um, start off with that. Thanks to Kathy and Zach for having me over today and um, I'm gonna just you know it's been a crazy day. Um, I given you a little personal information but went out for, to see a uh, orthodontist and then took like forever coming back because of you know traffic and there was like a wreck on the road and stuff so we had to be rerouted and everything so I don't know if you ever have this feeling but I've just kind of gotten the feeling that the day has just flown by and sometimes that can be a little uh, stressful when you got a live stream coming up so yeah so please excuse any roughness on this live stream it's kind of just you know, I wanted to come on and say hi and, you know, see everybody today. And it is great to see you today. So let me say hello, Cam, Mike, Dad, and Pierre. Thank you all for watching today and I uh, hope you enjoy. And today is just going to be a little bit of everything. I'm going back to my book of 500 fiddle tunes and seeing what's fresh and new in there to share with you guys. And I found some cool stuff in the last hour. So uh, we'll see how it goes. <laughs> All right, this first tune is um, called, put a sticky note over it, Lord McDonald's Real. Hey Ruth, thanks for watching. Mike, good to see you. Lord of the Periscope Musicians page. feisty halfway through there got a little got a little uh, confident <laughs> but having fun and that's the point of Fiddler's Friday for me to uh, challenge myself and have some fun stuff come my way and for you guys to have fun so that was a reel um, as defined by its steady one two three four great for dancing also, hornpipes and reels share that same uh, characteristic, in case you're wondering. Mike, thanks for sharing. Here's a, an old time tune called Cherokee Shuffle. Some of you fiddlers out there might know this one. Oh, whoopsie. Three sharps, Alice. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, three sharps.
Thank you all so very much. A little ditty called Cherokee Shuffle. All right. Well, while I'm here in the CH section of my book, I'm going to do a little, uh, let's see here. There's another one called the Cameron Highlanders. This is a Scottish one. And uh, as I was just flipping through this book today, um, recently, and asking myself, what do I want to play? I definitely wanted to do a little bit of a mix. So this one um, reminds me, like a lot of Scottish tunes, it reminds me of the bagpipers that used to play in the evening um, in the neighborhood where I used to live in Shelburne. I bet, Dad, you remember that? They would play their bagpipes and we would listen to it like on Sunday evenings all through the town. You could hear it. So here is a Scottish tune, the Cameron Highlanders. <laughs> of that Scottish ale with that one. Here's one on the same page is called Campbell's Farewell to Red Gap. And if you're wondering what's up with that name, well, a lot of fiddle tunes have strange names, first of all. Um, but I bet you know another one that is uh, named after a farewell. And that would be a Shokin Farewell. And uh, I can't remember the um, fiddler who I know that this is something that I should know, but basically there was a camp, a fiddle camp, and at the end of this fiddle camp up in the Northeast United States, they played this song. So this is actually a song from, that song is actually from the Northeast United States, not from, you know, down south in, uh, from a Civil War battlefield or something. Like a lot of people associate it with the Civil War, but it's actually um, from the Northeast, even though it was in the documentary that we all know. So. Yeah, interesting. So Ashokan Farewell, and this one, this farewell is Campbell's Farewell to Red Gap. <laughs>
kind of a haunting fiddle tune, that one. I like it. I might add it to my little regular list here. I'm gonna put a check mark next to that one. Uh, I've got a couple more for you. This, uh, this next one is a hornpipe, and it's called the Bee's Wing Hornpipe. And I have a funny story to go along with this one for you today. So I was in a rehearsal Wednesday night um, at a church in Collierville, and I uh, was sitting next to my friend Craig, and at the very end of the rehearsal, Craig says, Alice, hold still. There's a wasp on the back of your head. <laughs> and we were indoors, and I don't know how this wasp got there, but I kept my cool because I was holding my violin. So I just decided I'm not gonna do any sudden movements, just gonna let this wasp do its thing. And I said, Craig, can you please take it off the back of my head? And my good friend Craig helped me out. So, so thanks go out to Craig for saving me from the wasp on the back of my head. And um, you know, I'm just gonna give myself a little pat on the back because anyone who knows me, Dad, I'm sure you're thinking about this, knows that I probably I would probably have uh, freaked out pretty badly just a few years ago. I used to be very afraid of bees, but uh, it's amazing what you can not be afraid of when you have to hold on to your violin and not run away. All right, so with that grand introduction, here is the Bees Wing Hornpipe, one of the few fiddle tunes that I know that's in B flat. <laughs> your hand kind of tense up a little bit. Lots of fun though. I really like its little um, bouncing around between the strings. Not the easiest one, I have to say, and I'm not just saying that. All right, I got a couple more for you. Dad, I like your little equation there. Alice plus bees. No bueno. Ce n'est pas très bien. All right, here's a nice Irish tune. It's a double jig. The chieftains covered it called Cherish the Ladies. So good, good advice for anyone watching today. Just kidding. Cherish everybody. All right, here we go. Double jig. <laughs> Thank you. 
All right, cherish the ladies, y'all. Cherish the ladies. I've got one more, and then I'll go see if I can find a cat for you. This one is actually an encore performance of one that I've done before on Fiddler's Friday. It's called Midnight on the Water, and it's a waltz, so that gives me a nice rounded Fiddler's Friday. And uh, I hope that you guys also have a well-balanced week, and um, yeah, just in everything, weather and free time and all of the good feelings this weekend. And uh, yeah, for me, it's, um, it's a time of change as we tear out some parts of our house and put new ones in. So you might see me again here next week, but um, actually I'll tell you what's happening next week. It's gonna be real fun on Fiddler's Friday. I've been hatching a plan with my friend, my fiddle friend, Drew Sherrod. We're gonna do a fiddle tasting and uh, he's going to bring all of his fiddles, and I'm going to bring all of my fiddles and all of our bows. And we're going to try them out, try each other's fiddles out, and talk about what we like about them or what we don't like. Um, because I have about five fiddles, four good ones and one beginner one. And then I think he has one or two. So, and we, we have a couple bows between us too. So we're just gonna see if we notice anything and have some fun and play some tunes and maybe play some twin fiddle for you as well. So, um, so stick around next week, Fiddler's Friday with my friend Drew. Always great hanging out with Drew. He has so much good life advice. Dad, you wanna know where Bowie is? Well, uh, Bowie's not in this house cause this is my friend Kathy's house. Um, but I can see if I can find Noodle, who is very cute, in just a minute here. And Noodle usually lets me hold him for longer anyway. Here's Midnight on the Water. <laughs>
All right, that was the Midnight on the Water Waltz. Beautiful tune. Um, I'm going to go ahead and see if I can find a cat now. <laughs> so y'all stay with me. Don't go anywhere. You're going to like this cat. Look at the tail. Look, everybody. This tail. Say hello to everyone, Noodle. Noodle says hello. So Noodle is, we think, maybe part Maine Coon, definitely part Aussie Cat, 100% sweetness. And then we also have Brooks, who is a little bit more of a spicy orange viking cat but noodle can just be so sweet and fluffy noodle mike says hi <laughs> look at this foot these huge paws this is becoming a fiddle and cat stream that's right i know what gets the likes Y'all give me some likes here for this beautiful cat. <laughs> I'm getting all the comments now. <laughs> oh, he's got like a, just a tiny bit of a... <sighs> this baby. This baby. If you guys have seen Bowie on the stream, you can probably see some resemblances. Look at this happy baby. What a handsome man. <sighs> well, good to see everybody today on this relaxed and groovy Fiddlers Friday. Sorry I didn't have as many loops for you, but I had to just kind of bring my stuff over to Kathy's house today. But hey, I have a cat for you, so there is that. Alrighty, I'm going to say my farewell. I've come through with everything today, I think, fiddles and cats. <laughs> and uh, it's good to see everyone, so just have a great weekend and... Uh, Go give some love to a sweet creature this weekend. Go find somebody to love and cuddle and adore and play with. Just like Noodle. All right, I'm getting hair all over my computer here, so I'll say goodbye. Take care, everyone. Happy Fiddler's Friday. See you next week for the fiddle tasting.